Hi everyone, my name is Glenda with SureFit Designs and the purpose of this video today is to show you how to narrow the pant leg with the SureFit Designs pants pattern. Now some of you, when you do your pattern exactly as your measurements are from the master pattern, you put them on and you love the leg, the width of the leg as it is. But others of you will tell me that that leg is too wide. Well, part of that is personal preference. But I would like to address that whole issue and tell you how easy it is to narrow that pant leg if you want to. First of all, there are a few things that I'd like to discuss, and one of them is your hip shape. There are some major hip shapes, and we'll just take a quick look at these illustrations. You might be a diamond or a pear-shaped hip, and that's where you carry the majority of your weight in your low hip area. Or you might be more of an apple or a heart-shaped hip, and that's where you carry your weight in your high hip and stomach area. Or you could be more like me, which is quite rectangular, and you're kind of even between your waist, your high hip, and your full hip. Well, no matter what your hip shape is, the SureFit Designs pants pattern is designed to hang from your fullest dimension. So if we take a look at this illustration, you can see this basic silhouette here, and it's hanging off of the buttocks. Now, of course, we're not going to keep the leg that wide. The leg does grade narrower, but you can see from this silhouette that the pattern, the, the fabric is going to hang from your fullest dimension. So let's take a look at the master pattern. In the low hip area, these grading dots are approximately a quarter of an inch apart. And so um, it goes out uh, um, you know, according to your body circumference. And then as you come down into the leg area, you can see from the master pattern that it is narrowing down. And you can also see that these grading dots are getting much closer together. And so that is telling you that the leg is getting narrower. But as I said, some people still don't like the width of the leg, even with whatever your dimensions are. So this is what I would like to show you, how easy it is to get that pant leg narrower. First of all, I will put up a piece of tracing vellum, which I have already drawn my body blueprint on. This is my pants pattern in the blue line. And I should just mention to you that uh, when you're doing any kind of changes to the master pattern, it is usually easier to do it on what's called the strip down pattern, meaning that all you're working with is this would be your stitching line. It doesn't have any seam allowances on it. Of course, when all of your design changes are done, then you would add on your 5 8 inch seam allowances in place. What I do recommend is that you test your master pattern exactly as it is straight out of the box. In other words, your blue line. And you want to do that so that it gives you a reference point of how they are fitting before you start taking that leg in. And then you can start looking at how much you would like to take in. Perhaps you have a pair of ready-to-wear pants that you really like the width of the leg. You'll want to take your tape measure and measure that circumference and identify the front circumference and the back circumference. And that also brings up a good point here, is that on the SureFit Designs pattern, the back of the pant leg is wider than the front pant leg, and it is intended to be that way. But when you are doing leg width narrowing, you'll want to do it equally on all four seams. So as we take a look down at the hem level, you'll see that there, is, uh, there are two different uh, lines that are narrowing the pattern. The first one is 5 eighths of an inch narrower. I've come in from the out seam or the side seam 5 eighths, and I've come in from the inseam 5 eighths of an inch. And as I take the yardstick, I'm going to do what is called truing. That's connecting a new point to an old point in the longest distance possible. And you are going to true up into that crotch area of the inseam. For the outseam, you're going to connect from your new point at the hemline, and you're going to go up into your low hip area. Again, you want this to hang nicely off of your low hip, but you want it to narrow in the longest, smoothest distance possible. 
All right, now you might even want a silhouette that's even narrower than that. So, as we take a look at these two illustrations, first of all, as we look at this one, you can see that the pant leg is falling off of that low hip area. And this silhouette actually would be considered my blue line, my straight out of the box line. And this particular silhouette, I made it really, really narrow where you can see that that um, pant leg is cupping in underneath the buttocks, gets very, very narrow at the hemline and uh, follows the front contour of your leg coming up. Now anytime when you're doing a really skinny leg pant, you have to be careful of what your finished circumference is at the bottom of the hem so that you can get your foot in. You may need to add a little slit at the side seam to allow your ankle and foot to go through. So to do something really skinny, again, if you've got something from ready to wear that you know you like how narrow it is, use that as a guideline and mark your distances. In this case, I've moved the green line in one inch on the inseam and one inch on the outseam. And then, as I true this one up on the inseam, what I'm going to want to do is come up a little bit higher, and in order to true that, I need to use the designing stylus because I'm coming into the curved area. So I'm bringing my trued line up just a little bit higher, um, again, so that I'm removing some of the width in that upper thigh area. And the green line on the outseam or the side seam, I will also make that coming up a little bit higher too, just to, to help make this get a little bit skinnier as it's going all the way down the, the leg. So that's how easy it is to uh, narrow the pant leg. And now we're going to take a look actually at what my test pattern looks like on me. So what I've done with my test pants is I've done a little bit of both. The right leg is directly off of the master pattern per my hip circumference. With the left leg, I actually narrowed it in that 5 eighths of an inch. And of course, I took that off the inseam and outseam of both the front and the back. And that removed two and a half inches. Now we're going to take a look at the silhouette. From the right side, you can see how that's hanging straight off the buttocks and going down into the ankle or hem area. As I move around towards the front, you may be able to tell from the front silhouette that the left leg is a little narrower than the right. And as I move to the left, now you can see that that left leg is narrower going down into the hem level. And so I really encourage you to use your muslin to do some of this testing with. And always make sure that one leg, of course, that you started off with was exactly from your master pattern. And then experiment with narrowing the leg and getting it to suit your body shape and size. What's going to help determine what leg width you use is the kind of fabric that you choose, uh, the uh, design or the silhouette you want to create, and the shape of your body and what looks best on you. You know, the larger your hip and the shorter you are, when you start making those pant legs really, really thin or, or skinny, what happens is you create an inverted triangle and the tighter they get at the bottom, the more it just simply emphasizes your, your fuller either low hip or high hip area. So be very conscientious of what your finished garment is going to look like on your body when you do start narrowing the leg down. Now, one last thing that I would like to talk about is that pant leg width and what the hemline needs to look like. So if we take this down, I, I'm just putting up a piece of tracing vellum here where I've actually done an example of a narrow legged hem. We need to have a hem that will fold up inside to the narrow leg and be the same circumference when the hem folds up as it is down there. So all you do is leave your tracing vellum a little long and fold up on your desired hem level. And then from the wrong side of your vellum, you pencil in a line for the uh, out seam or the side seam, across for the hem line, and down for the inseam. When you unfold that, then you're going to get the exact shape that is required for folding that pattern or folding the hemline up 
when you're finishing off your pattern. And remember, for a real skinny leg, you're likely going to need to leave a little slit in the side seam. So you can see how easy it is to narrow the leg of the Surefoot Designs pants pattern. And for this, as well as many other excellent videos on helping you to work with your Surefoot Designs pants pattern in fitting and designing and sewing, just go on over to the Surefoot Designs Learning Center. That's surefootdesignslearningcenter.com. And the third link down is the video library where all the videos are categorized and labeled and numbered for your easy reference. So with that, I know many of you know that when you use Surefoot Designs, you can be sure of the fit.